Hello everyone, so this is going to be my next uh, vlog. Basically, I'm going to give you guys a few insights into um, my life and how things are going and what I will be doing uh, today and tomorrow and the next day and just give you guys a few insights into what I do. Um, this is going to be informal. I'm just going to do this in one take. I just literally woke up. Unfortunately, I have to work and have been working at night um, from around 5 to 9.30ish. Um, Central t U.S. Central Time, and um, I was very happy to um, say that two days ago I got um, enough money in one day. I got enough money in like four, I think it was like five and a half hours of work. Um, I got enough money to buy Titanfall um, in one day, um, and that was that was really cool. I just thought that was really neat. And if you're unaware, Titanfall is a new first-person shooter coming out exclusively on the Xbox, eventually the Xbox 360 as well, and the PC. Um, it involved, it's a first-person shooter. It was made by some of the developers on the original Modern Warfare and things of that nature. One of the surprising things that I want to address in this vlog is why am I getting Titanfall? Why am I branching out my channel to Titanfall specifically? There is one overarching reason that I feel is understated um, the majority of the time, and that is that the next game Bungie is making, okay, and this is, yes, this, I'm going to be talking about other games in circumspect with this, okay, it's very important that you understand the big picture here, guys. Bungie, which made, who made, the company that made Halo 1, 2, and 3, if you're unaware, freaking amazing company, even their games before then were pretty darn good, and I played those as well. They are making Destiny, you know, with Activision, okay, the legendary, you know, Call of Duty developers and everything of that, that nature. This is big stuff, okay? If this game is not a hit, I will be completely floored, okay? This game is going to be amazing, all right? It's kind of like The Last of Us. Everyone knew it was going to be amazing. No one knew exactly how amazing it was going to be. Everyone knew Portal 2 was going to be amazing. We just didn't realize how much the game was going to blow our minds until it released. The exact same thing applies to Destiny. And what you have to realize is that Destiny is going to be a pull-up right <laughs> left trigger scope shooter. You're going to pull the left trigger to pull up the sights on your weapon, just like Call of Duty. I am not familiar with games like this very much, okay? I have played an extensive amount of Mass Effect and um, a good amount of Crisis where you do aim down the sights and things of that nature, but I'm not familiar with games like this, okay? I have not owned a Call of Duty game ever, and I never will, okay? It's not my type of game. I, I Again, the series is very popular, and I don't want to get into that right now, but I want to get used to aiming down the sights with the left trigger, and I want to get used to that feeling, okay? And Titanfall is a great way to do it. I played the beta for Titanfall. I played it for free. I know what the game has to offer from a much more in-depth experience than most people are aware of. The game is extremely polished. Okay, The hit detection is dead on. One of the things that I'm never ever going to be able to tell you or show you um, you're just going to have to experience for yourself is the 60 frames per second. I promise you that if you go on the Xbox One and play a game that runs natively close to 60 frames per second or around there, like Titanfall, okay, and you play it for a few days in a row, and then you suddenly switch back to Halo 4, you will notice a dramatic drop in frame rate. It's not that the game is lagging per se, it's just that the game is missing frames. The Xbox 360 can't handle the Halo 4, okay? And now, to you playing Halo 4, you're not going to be able to notice this. You, you're not only going to be able to notice when you're playing Titanfall for a while and then switch back. But anyway, moving forward, I want to get used to aiming down the sights in a game. Titanfall will do that for me. Its hit detection is crisp. It is on par. Whenever I died in Titanfall, it was for a really freaking good reason. There is almost no lag except the beginning of the game and when uh, there's a bunch of titans in one area. I experience little to no lag. And one of the things I want to throw out here to you guys, because I will be getting the game 
um, sometime tonight slash tomorrow-ish, I'm going to try to download the game. If you're not aware, Xbox One games allow you to download the game or go and get the disc version of the game. I want to download the game to my console so that I don't have to insert a disc every time I play it. I just want to have to tell my Kinect, which is right sitting here on a pedestal above my um, uh, screen here, and I want to just tell my Kinect, um, play Titanfall, you know, and boom, I'm in Titanfall, and it's there, you know. An update is coming out tomorrow, March 11th, for the Xbox One that will fix a myriad of problems and everything of that, everything of that nature, including um, party chat not being turned on when you go into a party. Um, you can now live stream to Twitch from your Xbox One, which is what I'm going to be attempting to do tomorrow, or or should I say, very very late tonight, um, or, or very very early tomorrow morning. And I want to throw out my Twitch. Um, live streaming link. This is where you can watch me game live. I've occasionally streamed Halo 4 in the past, but over the next two days, I will be streaming Titanfall extensively. Um, and it, again, if I if I can't get the uh, streaming to work on my Xbox One, I will get it to work on my capture card like I always have. Because um, somehow I've been streaming Halo 4 up to this point. But my streaming link is twitch.tv slash Genesis Writer. There's no capitalization in any of that. It's just slash Genesis Writer, no spaces whatsoever. Okay, um, Twitch.tv slash Genesis Writer. There's the um, link in the description as well. There's going to be an annotation in the corner right here. If you just click on, jump straight to it. And I want to also put something out there for those of you who are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I would highly recommend creating a Twitch account if you haven't already. You can sign in with Facebook or whatever you, whatever's convenient for you. It's free to create a Twitch account. They don't send you a bunch of spam or crap like that. And once you do create an account, you can follow me. Then, just like on YouTube where you click on My Subscriptions and you can see what all your subscriptions have recently posted, you can click on Following. And then you can see which streams you followed and whether they're online or not. Over the next, uh, I'd say, um, 50 to 56 hours, I will be streaming a huge amount of Titanfall, whether it's the campaign or whether it's playing with my friends, I will be streaming the living crud out of that game. So I highly recommend that you go to my Twitch channel, and even though I'm not online probably at the exact moment I post this video, um, you can follow my stream. I will also be posting another video on my YouTube channel when I go live for t playing Titanfall. Um, and I hope you guys can tune in and watch. Something I wanted to address as well is that Halo 4 content will not stop on my channel. Just because I'm talking about Titanfall, Titanfall, Titanfall does not mean that I'm not going to post videos. I'm looking right now at my Halo 4 um, file where I keep all my videos and everything's of that nature. Not uploaded. Okay, I have 12 files that are not let even uploaded to my YouTube channel that are somewhat ready to go or in the process of being developed to the point of they're ready to upload, okay? And I have more piling up every day as far as reviews and things I look at. There's no shortage of stuff I can post to my YouTube channel about Halo 4, okay? It's just that Titanfall is going to be the next thing. And for my YouTube channel, for everyone, I'm going to intersperse my regular Halo 4 updates with Titanfall gameplay, maybe even Titanfall tips and tricks videos. Unfortunately, Titanfall doesn't have theater mode, so I won't be able to really, really hardcore slow down and like move the camera around. But I'm going to try to help you guys get better at understanding Titanfall. I hope you buy Titanfall for the Xbox One. Okay, it, uh, it doesn't release for 360 um, tomorrow on March 11th. It uh, releases much later than that. And I hope you buy it for the Xbox One. I hope you can play it with me. That is what I'm going to be playing. The majority of my time is going to be spent playing. Um, I just wanted to make you guys aware of this because I feel like some people are saying that they're really surprised I'm playing Titanfall because it's made by Call of Duty developers and such everything of that nature. I'm just going to put it this way. I really don't care who's behind the making of a game in terms of if the game is bad. Okay, I don't judge a game based on a developer who made a previous game that I didn't really like that much. Okay, 
if they're like M. Night Shyamalan and they fail over and over and over again with what they do, then yeah, I'll start to get a sort of bias against them to some degree. But what you have to understand is that Titanfall, from the beginning when it was demoed and everything, looks superior to the majority of other shooters that it goes up against. And even after hearing that the the number of weapons in the game that you're able to load out with is not that extensive, not as extensive as Call of Duty, this just tells me that they know what they're doing. They're making the sandbox balanced. They're not making it to where you can have a buttload of weapons so that, you know, if I'm so many ranks higher than you, then I'm going to be so more, much more powerful than you are and dominate you. Um, that's not how it is. And one of the things I wanted to briefly um, stress is that Titanfall, while it does have bots and it's only 6v6, killing bots will not win, just solely win you the game. Okay, If you're running around killing bots, the other people are running around killing players. And players count dramatically more on the scoreboard. I can't even begin to describe. When you have a Titan, everyone gets a Titan within four minutes or whatever if you don't get a kill. And if you kill a player, it knocks it down like 30 to 60 seconds, your, your time on your next Titan drop. Okay, If you kill a Grunt, it's way less than that. Okay, What I'm trying to say is the game is balanced to an extreme degree. It feels like with the beta, and again, Halo Reach had a beta, Halo 3 had a beta, games that have betas tend to come out really nice looking. I am very excited and happy to play this game. And I hope that you guys are excited and happy to watch me. I don't play games where you aim down the sides. I don't do that, guys. I. This is completely new territory for me. And I'm doing it to get ready for Destiny. Okay, Halo 5 or Halo 2 Anniversary is a long way off. Destiny is the next game. And I have bought my Xbox One for a while now. I've had it for a while. And I still have not gotten to play a game on it. Besides the Titanfall beta, if you count that. So... I am definitely going to play a game, like going to play Titanfall on it. Battlefield 4 really just wasn't for me. Titanfall, it definitely is for me. Um, I think that if you are a Halo fan and you're questioning whether you should get Titanfall, there is very little that I can say against Titanfall, and I think you should get it. There's really, if there's any game that you want to for example, the Titanfall bundle is out right now where you get Xbox One with a Titanfall copy. I would recommend getting that. Okay, um, I, I can't see this being a bad move. All right? The game is slick, fast-paced, has parkour wall running with Titans, and it's just so much more different than the other shooters were out there. Comparing it to Call of Duty doesn't do it justice, and I think I speak for the majority of the community when I say that. A Titanfall does not kill Halo 4. Titanfall does not kill Battlefield. It doesn't kill Call of Duty. Titanfall is its own game. Titanfall is its own niche. Okay? And while it probably will take more players away from Halo 4, whatever that is, Halo 4, if I can state it in very mild terms, uh, more people bought Halo 4 than any previous Halo title. Okay? And this is a fact. Okay? You can look it up if you want to. Less than 10% of those people are currently playing Halo 4 right now online. This is less than a year and a half after the game came out. Okay, or maybe a little bit more than that. That is ridiculous, the, that, that drop. Okay, and I don't often speak in so gravity terms on my channel about a game that I highly support and really love. What I'm trying to get into your skulls is this element of realism that this, this world that we've been a part of, if there is any time to move on to something else, now is the time. Okay, People have left Halo 4, a huge amount of people. And I will be moving to Titanfall and playing. And unless, unless something just comes up that it just really turns me off from Titanfall, which I don't think it will, I will be playing Titanfall for the majority of my gameplay till Halo 5. And I, again, Halo 4 content will still be uploaded. I have so many videos in my theater mode and everything that I can work with and quickly upload. I'm not going to lose my touch where that is concerned. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know this in sort of a personal way. 
Um, I don't I don't want it to feel like, um, oh, you just suddenly see Titanfall on my channel, and suddenly I'm just playing Titanfall all day. And I wanted you to understand that this has been a long anticipated, calculated decision that I've had to weigh and look over multiple people's shoulders and go, okay, is this game really worth playing? And the game, I think I think the best way to put it, besides the fact that it has a bunch of people in it, and you know, and and you don't get dropped from games and you uh there's no black screens and um you know there's no waiting for you know ten minutes in the lobby trying to find a game et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The number one thing I would have to say is that Titanfall, even compared to Call of Duty, is ridiculously fun. It is fun to a degree I really cannot state. Okay, It's so chaotic and fast-paced and interesting that I highly doubt I would get bored of it for the next year. I could play this game for a while and still not get bored of it, and I just played the beta. And I knew I could play the crud out of that. I just played the beta and two maps and got a few weapons. That was it, you know. And so, if there's anything I should leave you with, it is that Titanfall is a very fun game. It's no, I don't think it's necessarily super competitive, but as you know on my channel, I don't think that's where like I'm not super competitive in terms of like I want to get money and this and this and that. I want to compete against other good players, but I also want to play a game that other people are actually playing. And Titanfall is that game. Um, I feel very comfortable after playing the beta just saying that this game is going to be amazing. And while it may have a few bugs and glitches, the team working behind it is beyond good at, at responding to player feedback. At um, I, I was given access to a secure forum link where I could you know, complain on the game or tell something that was wrong about it. Um, the burn cards are interesting. They're not as unfair as Call of Duty Death Streaks. Um, the burn cards are very interesting, and I feel like they add the tactical advantage somewhat, and they add this randomness and sort of um, almost Mass Effect 3 level addiction at randomly getting and acquiring things that you don't know what they're going to do next. You never know where you're going to get next. It, the burn cards are really cool. You guys should check those out. Um, but I'll be streaming the game, and uh, I hope this bramble hasn't you know, been too much for any of you. Um, I hope that you understand that this is where I'm going with my gaming. And I hope to see you guys um, definitely within uh, 13 or 14 hours. Um, I should be live streaming the game. And whether that's the campaign or whether that's the multiplayer, I hope you will join me and I hope you understand where this channel um, is going. And I appreciate your support and everything up to this point. I am number 709 on the leaderboards, uh, Halo Tracker leaderboards for Halo 4. I never thought I'd get that far. I got. I have a grade one fifty in um, Slayer. I. Uh, I mean, there's multiple things I could say. I. I have over an eighty thousand kills, or eight hundred. Or yeah, eighty over eighty thousand kills, um, with a two point KD. I didn't even think I would get that far, guys. Like I didn't think any of this would be possible. I didn't think I would have a YouTube channel. Thankfully, my my Elgato has my capture card. Elgato has been like a lifesaver, making it extremely easy for me to do all this compared to other capture cards. Um, and that's like one of the main reasons. One of the main reasons I keep doing this, although, is you guys watching my videos and commenting and making me, let me, letting me know in the comments that this video was helpful to me. I learned a lot. You know, I, I want more like this. I want more free for all. I want more SWAT. I want more this and that. This, the comments like that are really helpful. And I want to keep the channel like that. I want to keep the comments helpful and clean and clear of debris and stupidness. I've already had to delete like five comments, but five comments is nothing compared to the number of comments I've received on my videos that are very constructive and well thought out. And even things that like, are, okay, Genesis, you did this kind of wrong. Even those comments have been very constructive and correct in the way that they're, or they're said. And I appreciate the careful time you take to edit your spelling and get your comment just right before you post it. Thank you for doing that. Um, and thank you for subscribing and everything that you, um, over 470 people have done so far. I really do appreciate it. And I just was making this video for you guys to help you understand where I'm going with my channel. So thank you very much for tuning in to this uh, Genesis Vlog, I guess I'll call it. And um, I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording or on my live stream tonight. Peace, guys.